Welcome, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about probably something you've not seen in any stores in a long, long time. We're going to talk about Ghostbusters International, the RPG, by West End Games. By the fantastic West End Games. Uh, they are great. They made some three of my favorite games, Star Wars, Paranoia, and Ghostbusters. This came um, in a box set. It was released in 1989, which is uh, after the second movie. This was a um, sequel to their first Ghostbusters game. It's okay. kind of a second edition. A couple interesting tidbits. Uh, Sandy Peterson worked on this game. Sandy Peterson of Call of Cthulhu fame. <clears throat> this is also the game uh, where West End first introduced what would later become their Star Wars and their D6 system. Okay. Yeah. And here they call it the um, UM system. The uh, UHM? Yeah, U H UHM? UHM. Universal How Much. Oh, okay. Was their joke. <laughs> yes. So, this is a great game. Fantastic. Uh, inside the box set, you get a ghost die, which is a six sider, a little Ghostbuster symbol on it. This and is that, the, that came with the box? Yes, this is the original one that came with the box. <laughs> you can see the pips are all faded off in the corner. So, I bought another one. Okay. But I just wanted to show you what was actually in the box. So you also get this wonderful booklet here. So you've got some character sheets that you can uh, photocopy for your characters. And in here you have a choose your own adventure, solo adventure to introduce things to you. Okay. You make decisions, you roll, you make a character and run it through. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they, they have fantastic little humorous little handouts, which really don't have much effect on the game, which are but are very funny. This is a release from damages form. <laughs> the idea of this game is that the players are a Ghostbusters franchise. After okay. the success that the Ghostbusters had, they set up... A franchise business. Hmm. So you are a franchise. You can set this game in whatever city you like. Um, and of course, so you get forms and they are all the companies run by Venkman and Tully is the accountant. And as you can imagine, Venkman screws you over. If you read these forms, it's actually a lousy franchise. <laughs> <laughs> so for instance, you have to sign this, which releases the parent company from any damages because you're wearing nuclear accelerators on your back. But it's not their fault. <laughs> and this, this is a last will and testament that the company uh, provides for you, which, um, if you read the fine print, leaves everything to the parent company. <laughs> so Venkman's okay. going to screw you over and take your money. <laughs> this is the original book that comes in to, with the game. Uh, it's relatively small, but uh, it's it got not, everything you need. Yeah, big characters and yep. NPCs. It's, it's got monsters. the main characters. Got the NPCs. Does it have monsters from the cartoon series or from the movies? Ah, uh, it's got the cart. I mean, it's got characters from the um, the movies. I don't think it has any direct relationship to the real Ghostbusters, but it plays a lot like that. It, it's okay. the it's the same sort of spirit. So basically, if you think of it, if you've seen the real Ghostbusters. That's what you'll be playing. You'll be playing a franchise doing that sort of thing in whatever your whatever your hometown is. And they have all sorts of crazy characters and adventures. The system is easy and fun. Um, the game gives you everything you need. It it um, is told in a very friendly manner, very tongue in cheek. Um, it's got a brownie point system that you can prove your rules on. Um, and it's littered with quotes from the movie and has, from, from the movies, and has the, uh, kind of the same sense of humor. So if you liked Ghostbusters, you should really try to track down a copy of this game. It's uh, long out of print, so it might be a little difficult to find, but it is well worth it. Um, sometimes I hear people, uh, this is a second edition, sometimes I hear people, um, 
maligning this edition hmm. as opposed to the first edition. I you know I never played the first edition. Okay. I love the second edition. The first edition is even harder to play, and honestly. I think people just hate second editions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's always going to be people who say that, uh, yeah. you know, people who don't like the second movie. I love the second movie. I thought the second movie was great. And I think this is a fantastic game. Okay. I, I was, um, movies I have mixed feelings about. We talked about it. Yeah, yeah, like, we've talked you know, about it. I understand. Um, the ending's kind of corny. Yeah. Well, Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 1 is classic. Yes. You know? yes. Uh, 2, uh, you know, we could debate. That should be another video. We're yeah, talking about the that's Ghostbusters right. movie. But I, I did love the cartoon series that came out in, yes. um, for Saturday morning. Back yeah, in the, the real Ghostbusters? That yeah, was great. There, there were some episodes that scared the crap out of me when I was a kid, like yeah. the, the Boogeyman, yeah. um, Sam Haim. Um, there was some, all sorts of crazy stuff. I love their Call of Cthulhu episode because someone actually really knew the source material. Yeah. <laughs> the, the chants are... Right out of the Lovecraft books. Yeah, I felt like the, for, I mean, I mean, I'll probably if I watch it now, it might seem silly, but it, there was some good lore. Yeah, there in, was in there. there was. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, the writers were fantastic, and um, I again, I wish this was around when I was young. I probably would love to play Ghostbusters, seeing try to emulate what I saw in the cartoon series. It's it's a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun with this game. I played at conventions. Yeah. Uh, it's so really great. Good luck finding this. Yeah, um, keep maybe, an eye out for it. If you find it, snag it. Yeah, yeah. Good. If you know, if you find a place where they sell it, you know, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, this box is worn down, so I'm sure you wouldn't mind something maybe a little more. You know. Yeah. Well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you very much, everyone, and okay. um, see you soon. <laughs>